Welcome, Ukraine war update today. Months of brutal fighting over Bakhmut, which Western defense officials have argued is strategically insignificant, has prompted US defense officials to encourage Ukraine not to attempt to keep up with Russia strike for strike. The US has advised Kyiv to hold off on any major counteroffensives against Russian forces in Ukraine until Washington's latest supply of weaponry and trainings have been provided, a senior White House official said, according to Reuters Saturday. Kyiv has not officially announced that it is planning another major counteroffensive just months after it successfully ousted Russian troops from Kharkiv in the north and from the city of Kherson in the south, though it has repeatedly warned it believes Moscow is taking steps to ramp up its war effort. A senior U.S. official told reporters that the U.S. believes Russia will gain an advantage when it comes to a war of attrition and therefore Ukraine needs to change the dynamic on the battlefield. The official did not clarify for how long the U.S. wants Kyiv to hold off on launching a counteroffensive or when Washington will deem Ukraine ready to do so, though they noted that sending U.S. M1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine was still off the table. The U.S. has argued its tanks are too costly and difficult to maintain. Instead, the U.S. this week said it would send 90 striker combat vehicles for the first time and another round of nearly 60 Bradley fighting vehicles, adding to the 50 Bradley fighting vehicles, 100 armored personnel carriers, 55 mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles and 138 high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles pledged earlier this month. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky continues to urge Western nations to send tanks to the front lines and told 50 defense officials who met at the Ramstein Air Base in Germany Friday that Ukraine is running out of time after they failed to solidify an agreement to supply Kyiv with German-made Leopard tanks. Terror does not allow for discussion, Zelensky said. The terror, which burns city after city, becomes insolent when it feels that the defenders of freedom run out of weapons against it. All of us can use thousands of words in discussions, but I cannot use words instead of guns that are needed against Russian artillery," he added. Despite pleas from Kyiv, Berlin has refused to clear the way for its tanks to be sent to Ukraine, or for the 15 nations that possess German Leopard 2 tanks to send them from their stockpiles. U.S. Secretary of Defense looked to downplay any division among partner nations and when asked Friday if Germany was doing enough to help Ukraine he said, yes but we can all do more. They are a reliable ally and they've been that way for a very, very long time, he said. And I truly believe that they'll continue to be a reliable ally going forward. Ukrainian officials are again warning of looming disaster after Russia stepped up its shelling of the Zaporizhia region, home to Europe's largest nuclear plant, over the last few days. The Russian army said Saturday that it had carried out over 160 missile strikes in the southeast region of Ukraine, where local officials said at least one woman was killed and two others were injured. Over the past day, Russian shells have covered 21 towns and villages of the Zaporizhia region, Oleksandr Sterek, governor of the region, said on Telegram. Our community survived 166 shellings. Another 18 destroy houses were added to the register. Meanwhile, the situation at the Russian-held nuclear power plant in the region is worsening, Ukrainian Energy Minister German Galashchenko said. The situation is indeed deteriorating, Galashchenko told Ukrainian television. It is getting worse not only because of the mental state of the remaining Ukrainian specialists but also due to the condition of the equipment. Ukrainian workers have remained at the plant after it was captured by Russian forces in March. The massive plant has repeatedly been a source of concern as having the potential for nuclear disaster as fighting rages around it.